What's up, everybody? Welcome to Game Trek Series. This series where I go buy games, unbox them, and talk about them. Uh, today's a out of nowhere episode because I kind of just randomly thought about buying something. I'm going to my game style to pick up a copy of Persona Q uh, for the 3DS. My boy is very into RPGs, especially Japanese RPGs, and uh, I figured why not go ahead and buy this game since it's out. I'm not really familiar with the series other than it's an anime and it's, it's a fighting game and other stuff. I do know anime fans enjoy the series, so I figure, you know, why not pick it up? It's been recommended by some of my friends who own uh, Sony products who've played it, and so they highly recommend it. So I figure as a father, you know, my son wants something, and as a father, I'm going to buy it for him, because that's what I do. But I want to take this time, really, in this video, and instead of talking about the game like I usually do, talk about something that's, some, that's, that's bigger than this, you know what I'm saying? It's important to me. And as you know, uh, the whole Ferguson thing happened last night, the decision. I don't know why people were expecting anything else, but they did. And now it's the outrage and everybody's upset and there's rioting and things going on in that part of the, part of the, the country. And you know, I'm not here to pass judgment on any of that. Because at the end of the day, you know, people are gonna do what they want and people can feel what they feel. But I will say this, I always find it hilarious when things happen like this where let's say a riot happens and people are destroying stuff. The first thing people always say is, one, why are you turning up your own stuff? For one, they don't own any of that shit. You know what I'm saying? At all. When the city, if the city came down and said, hey, give me your shit, it's gone. If the government came down and said, give me your shit, it's gone. They don't own any of that. So they destroy, they don't, they're not destroying anything they actually own. So stop with that bullshit. That's just, that's just lies. That's just propaganda people say to try to give up, to get their agenda across. You know what I'm saying? Look at these animals doing this you know, horrific act. They have no common sense. They have no value of property and money and things like that. But see, at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. This whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it's about race. But the more important thing is about class. It's about money. It's about power. It's about who has it, who's in control, and who don't want to give it up. You know what I'm saying? You know, people like Michael Jordan, LeBron James, they have more value in the world than your average, you know, white person. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. But even even above, even though they have more value than your average person who's not as rich, as not as successful and rich as they are. In a small scheme, in the overall scheme of things, they're a small percentage of you know the overall who's in power. You know what I'm saying? There's millions of guys above LeBron James who can fuck the LeBron James world up. You know what I'm saying? Michael Jordan world up. All these guys we value successful. You know what I'm saying? And who has power? Who has some kind of pull? And so, you know, I want people to think about that kind of stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's about that. And then race come an issue. You know what I'm saying? Because in the end, yeah, Michael Jordan's rich, LeBron James rich, and yeah, they have more value than your average normal person but compared to the people in power they ain't shit they still just a nigga with money and not that much money than them and so you know i think i, I really as black people i want us to really just think about that man you know yes it's racism we know it we live it you know what i'm saying i'm a black guy who lives on considered what's considered a good part of town where i'm from you know what i'm saying where i live here in lubbock yet today i went to the gym working out one of the only few black guys that just all it was one of the biggest gyms in my city and I spent the whole time with my earphones on off just listen to all these people talk about Ferguson talk about how ignorant these people were all this shit was you know what I'm saying well I was in the room with them but they soon I, I didn't hear them because I had my earphones on I heard everything fucking, I heard every fucking thing they said you know what I'm saying you know and so it's just you know you, you gotta know where you where you at you gotta know you got to know, you know, you're surrounded. You got to know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? You know, the other day I was on Neil Gaff. And people were complaining about Nintendo not having more black players in the Brawl. More black players overall. And I'm just thinking, like, man, like, really? This is what... this, this, this These are the small battles we want to fight. We want to fight these small battles. You know, if Nintendo added four black characters, is that a victory? You know, for feminists, if you get five, six more female characters, is, is that a victory? Hell no. You know what I'm saying? It's not even worth. It's not even a worth a worth battle. It's not even a worth, you know, engagement. You know what I'm saying? You know, especially if none of these small battles lead to the overall victory of winning the war. That's the whole fucking thing. You're never gonna win the war because the guys who are in, who who are in control of the war not gonna ever lose. You know what I'm saying? That shit will self-destruct. This shit will end before they lose power because we know that's, the, that's what it's about. It's about power. And, you know, people talk about, you know, this is 2014. We should be past this. We got a black president. All this bullshit. Come on, y'all. That shit ain't, that, it don't mean shit. You know what I'm saying? 
the pe shit and then she, she can never shit sorry shit is never gonna change because people in charge are never gonna, don't want to change you know what I'm saying and if they all die out they've already trained up people behind them to take their place because it's about keeping that power it's about keeping that status why are you gonna lose if you got full control and you got someone coming up who's gonna, you gonna pass your descendants down to why the fuck you gonna you're gonna make them change their way of thinking so when they lose power you ain't gonna do that it's, just, it's, just, it's fucking common sense so let's just be realistic with this shit man you know what I'm saying and another thing too I found hilarious too you know Victim blaming is always acceptable when it happens like with black people. You know what I'm saying? If a girl get raped and she's walking out at late at night, three o'clock in the morning, drunk, half naked, cause she went to the club, and this guy raped her, it's not her fault. But you know, a black guy can get shot and shit for doing nothing really, or maybe if he did something, he can lose his life, and it's his, it's his, it's his fault. And so you know, man, it's just it's shit like that that bugs my mind, man. But you know. What can you do except understand where you at, what's going on, man, and just try to, you know, survive? All right, I'm going in real quick. I'll be right back. I want to finish talking a little more of this talk before I stop this video. So I'll be right Finally, back. Finally, there you see, I got the Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth game. Looks interesting, you know what I'm saying? The boy's going to play it. He's going to really get into it. You know, maybe he get into it a lot on how to buy the older games so he can play those. You know what I'm saying? Not quite sure yet, but you never know. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, you know, do what you can for your kids, man. You know what I'm saying? Do what you can for your kids. You know, I, my parents did what they could. They did what they could for me, and sometimes do the same for the boy. And so, you know, here you go. Even though this does mean his Christmas gifts are gonna be real light. I already told him, I'm buying shit now for you. That means Christmas come. Don't expect a lot of shit. I ain't rich. But uh, back to what I was saying though. Getting back to that real. You know that. Victim blaming happens. You know, victim, back, victim blaming is a big topic right now. You don't blame the victim. Never you know. Don't blame, don't blame the victim. The guy, that, that guy, that lemon guy on a CNN asking her girl why she didn't bite Bill Cosby's dick when she was sucking. He, he told her to suck it. You know, if, he, if she didn't want to do it and he was making her do it by force, he should have bit his dick off. But instead, she didn't do it. And now everybody on this case for, you know, blaming the victim. Sometimes common sense got to come in, come in. You know what I'm saying? Some guy, we, we got to be, be, be realistic. You know what I'm saying? You know, you make decisions. Your actions are, are based off your decisions you make. You know, no one is forcing you to do anything unless they got a gun to your head. Even then, you can choose to do it or you can choose to die. But you have a choice at all times. So, uh, like I was saying, though, about the whole, you know, Ferguson thing and just everything, man. You know, black people, we, we, we say this all the time. I've even, I've even said, I've even said my man Deion Sanders, a guy I respect, a guy I, 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 I idolize, you know, he, he, he's the reason my name is Joe to see Deion, because of Deion Sanders, you know what I'm saying, the, the Deion part is from him, and even I saw him, he was like, you know, man, black people, we need to take care of ourselves, we need to, you know, work on ourselves before, so people won't be judging us based on our actions and everything, and, you know, that's all good and all, and I can I, I understand that sentiment, but let's be for real, man, every race, everybody's done some shit, and at a certain point, people just don't give a care no more. You know what I'm saying? You know, there's very few races that really get shit on for shit they done. You know, if you're a German, you catch shit all the time for the whole Nazi thing, Hitler. You know, you, you're forever going to be, you know, that's who you are. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, everybody else, you get a pass. You know what I'm saying? You really don't give a fuck about what they did, what they race did. But black people, we hold this other standard. What we do now, what we've been doing, what we've done, is always in play. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, look, look at Bill Cosby. This man has been a person who seemed like he's been on the the, the, the front, the the, the, the the front of just trying to, you know, better our people, better our people people's opinion on us. And now they got shit happened 40, 50 years ago about what he's supposedly done, and it's just pretty much just creating his whole life. You know what I'm saying? And so, man, you know, black people, we really need to focus on bettering ourselves, but don't do this shit because we want people to think better of us. Do it because you're trying to get to heaven. You know, people talk about, like I said, it's 2014, and this shit should change and everything. It's not going to change because it's about power, about control. But you know the reason why it's going to change? Because we are we are on the verge of the gates of hell. You know what I'm saying? People people keep talking about, you know, all this kind of stuff. Man, but let's be real. When Adam and Eve did what they did millions of years ago, whatever, and we got cast down from hell, heaven, we God put us on the, ver on, a t on the verge of hell. We are close to hell as possible without being in hell. That's why the devil has so much easy access to us. You can't go nowhere if it ain't close to you. You know what I'm saying? 
you know so yeah we're on the verge of hell and it's up to us people who who want to get in heaven who want to get back into heaven to do what you can to get into heaven you know what i'm saying when god comes for us eventually he's not gonna he's gonna throw this motherfucker into the fire he's gonna, he gonna tip it he's gonna thump it he's gonna fall in hell and gonna burn up and he's gonna start over again you know what i'm saying you can't recycle shit you know what i'm saying that's where we are that's where we're at and so you know people I just want y'all to take my words, man. This is my opinion on things. And I know y'all be like, man, this is game trips. Why the hell are you talking about this shit here in this video? I want to hear about, you know, the game. You know, people, y'all know I've been doing this video thing for a long time. And it's really always been just about me getting, I, getting a chance to express myself and state my opinions on stuff. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can agree with it if you want to or not. It don't really matter to me. i never done YouTube on the sole purpose of I want to be YouTube famous. I want to make YouTube money. I want to have all these people follow me on Twitter. And, and I retweet everything they say. And all this kind of stuff. I ain't, I ain't never been about that. I say, sh I, I, I've always been a person who want to say shit that need to be said, whenever it is. You know what I'm saying? And you know, whatever happens, happens. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, it's important to me that you know, you know, we, we we use our freedom of speech when we can, even if it's wrong, if it's right, if it's something on your mind, say it. And if people agree, they agree. But I ain't looking for you know. Gaining fans and kind of I want to say this the popular shit. I'm just gonna say how I feel. You know what I'm saying at all times. And you know, black people, we've been on this war. We've been dealing with this shit for all these years. You know, we need to do better by ourselves. Maybe so. Maybe when the time comes, we can band together. But you know, we have a problem working together. It's just way, it's how we things are. It's how we are. You know, you look on, look on YouTube. Look at the shit happen on YouTube with the black game community. We always at, at each other's throat over dumb shit. A lot more than the other races. Why? It's just it's something about us. Something about who we are. And so, you know, y'all know me. I've done my best to try to try to be down with the brothers. You know, I've, I've made connections with people and done things with people that I've you know that I will never do again because they all bit me in the ass. It seemed like, but you know, I've always been about you know just. The betterment for our, just do the for, for, for the just do, do what's what's best for us, and in the end, it doesn't work. Well, y'all, that's it, man. I'm about to get some food for my boy because it's a Thanksgiving thing happening, and so I'm about to buy some food for my boy. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys a little bit later with the unboxing. Hey, I'm gonna do the unboxing here while I'm waiting to go into the school. Today is Thanksgiving at the school, and you, you, the parent get to eat with him and bring him food or whatever. So I got the boy some Burger King. That way he likes double cheeseburgers, plain and dry. And so before it's like 10 minutes for lunch, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this real quick before I go in. So, so I'm gonna box it. And yes, now I will just talk about the game. So this seems very popular with anime fans. You know, I think it's the characters and the story. You know what I'm saying? I'm not quite sure. This ver this version is different from the regular version. You know, it's got chibi characters and everything. I think it's, it's, it's a side story, but it is part of canon. And so, you know, like I said, if he likes it, maybe I'll get the other games on the PS3. You know what I'm saying? This game comes with some tarot cards. You know what I'm saying? Kind of cool. You know, cool looking box. Also, they had the uh, uh, collector's edition that came with extra stuff. I also had a uh, 3DS bundle that you know the system type thing oh this is big wow big tarot cards wow that's crazy <laughs> excuse me and there's the game itself hmm, I wonder if this got Nintendo points I mean I'm already I'm already at you know Motherfucking platinum, but you know what I'm saying. If I can build for next season, next next year, why not? You know what I'm saying. Let's see here. Yeah, Nintendo points. There we go. No instruction book. That's lame. <laughs> That's real lame. I mean, how you gonna play, play this game? You don't know how to play it. But um. Uh, that's it y'all I hope you enjoyed this episode of Game Trek I'm sorry it wasn't normal Game Trek it wasn't just about games but you know you gotta take this opportunity to, to talk about stuff other than just video games you know what I'm saying it's more important to things in life than just video games and if you're wondering if you're on a fan site worrying about black representation women representation and games and comics all this bullshit that you really just don't understand the big picture of what's going on with life 
So uh, until next, uh, until December 5th, season finale of Game Trek, when I pick up uh, Captain Toe's Treasure Tracker, I'll see you guys next time. Live long and game, but shit, forget that. Just live, man. <laughs> Try to survive. All right, y'all. Peace. That's more